Welcome back to Summershine Metal Polishing. Today in this video, I'm going to be working on this 38 inch hand spun aluminum wheel for a pulling tractor. Now, this is for an antique tractor with a 550, 600 horse gas engine in it. It's an inline six out of some old international semi of some sort the customer was telling me about. But a lot of you have watched this video in the YouTube shorts, and as you know, it didn't complete, so I had to do it in multiple parts. And I got a lot of flack for playing with that aluminum. Anyway, I thought it was pretty fun and pretty cool. Nonetheless, we sanded this thing from 220 is what I started with, a 220 grit sandpaper on the high speed, and then I moved on to a 320 on the random orbit. That's gonna smooth out any kind of waviness that we've, we've caused with the high speed rotary sanding. After that, I switched back to a 400 on the rotary high speed, and then back to a 600 for the final with a random orbit. What that does is it steps up through the, through the sandpaper evolutions and it gets you that nice fine finish that you need to be able to buff it out. Now you could buff out from a lower grit but it's going to take more time and it's not going to give you quite a smooth or a reflective finish. So if you're really wanting that high clarity, going up through those steps in that order and going up to 600 before you start to cut and buff is really what makes the difference. As you can see here, I'm finishing out. This is the 600 grit now. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit of a reflection in it. You can kind of see, you know, the colors in the wheel. And that's because you're getting that surface almost to that point of smooth. Now we're cutting it with a 6,000 RPM grinder. We're using a 9-inch orange airway buff from GoShineOn.com. And using the brown compound from them as well. I This is my favorite setup for cutting aluminum. It works extremely well and cuts through the sanding marks. Now this wheel was huge, and so it took me several cuts across here to get the finish that I wanted. As you can see here, I'm working that little lip down at the bottom. It had a couple waves in it, so you had to kind of work it around a little, a little bit of an angle. These wheels are hand spun, and because of that, that's why you see that, that kind of waviness in the, what you would call the barrel of the wheel. It has a little bit of waviness because they're they're all done by hand. It's not like it's a machine factory or like a machine finish of sorts. So anyway, we've got the whole full cut done, and now we're using a pleated cotton, and we're doing a green color compound with it, also from GoShineOn.com. You can pick that up over there, and I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna color the whole thing here with that green, and that's gonna take out more of our sanding marks, and just just gonna take out the hash from the orange and brown and then we're going to finish this thing up with a flannel buff a flannel airway and a purple compound i think it was maybe it was a blue it was a blue we used a blue and a dome flannel that's what it was very last thing i did was go around it with a hand polish from time to shine also available at goshineon.com and that's the finished product